guys welcome to jedi jai this is my first video that i'm ever making on this channel and it's gonna be a fun one because i for the first time ordered from imperial workshop and i bought their xenopixel scavenger v3 lightsaber it has a little ring thing on the bottom for connecting a second saber which i'll show you guys now so this is one of my random rgbs that i have from another company but what you do is you take the end off preferably i think that you'd want to get a second one of these to do this just because it looks better but if you just have another one that somehow fits just remove the last part which i believe is called the pommel and just twist them together we'll make a saber staff like so i'm actually going to do a brightness test between the neopixel and the rgb after i show you guys what it can do so i'm going to show you guys is the inside of the lightsaber which is called the chassis or core or whatever this is the chassis and on the inside are your neopixel spokes which these are the sensors that whenever you place your blade on top um tell the blade to do specific effects um or colors so the blade depth is great that is like a good two or three inches down there which is really nice because you can do light to mid dueling i'd say light just because i'm very worried about anything breaking so i'd say light dueling um with your saber it's good to have a good depth so your saber blade doesn't crack so now we're gonna get on to the things you get with your saber first off you get a blade um they come with 36 inch blades with every purchase but i am 5'3 for reference i cannot spin a 36 inch blade so i got a 30 inch um, i paid 75 dollars to have an extra blade and i love it this is your manual that also comes with your saber um every saber you get a manual with you also get a micro sd card reader for adding fonts onto your lightsaber um, which you will need a pc for you also get a bag with your allen key and retention screw so including your hill and your blade that's everything that you get with an imperial workshop lightsaber now we're going to add the blade in to show all the things that it can do the thing that you want to do is take the cap off of your blade and put that inside of your hilt to where it touches the sensors and is flat down. You don't wanna jam it, but like you obviously wanna make sure that's like down there so these spokes are touching. Okay, so I have both of my screws in the top part of my lightsaber. Next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is plug it in. After you charge it though, you want to hold your on button. Powering on. Until it says something like this. And twist. So I'm gonna go through just a couple of the fonts that you get on this lightsaber. Okay, so those were some really cool sound fonts, and that's not even all of them because there's just so many. There's 35 pre installed sound fonts. 35. Okay, this is in my ring light lighting, too, so it's very bright. Um, this is the RGB and this is the Xenopixel. Three, two, one. I believe that it's only right for us to do a spin test outside. So we're gonna take this baby out in the pitch black and spin her. Okay guys, the car's out of the way now and we're outside. Um, and now we're gonna spin this thing, so let's go. I'm mind blown. Hold on. I can't.
guys, that was the spin test. This saber is amazing. I'm going to try to jam pack everything that I love about this saber and this company into this little outro. So let's start. First off, talking about the electronic side of things, this thing is so loud and so bright. And I don't know, it just feels like I'm holding a real lightsaber. Also, if we're going to talk about the hilt, these grooves right here make it so comfortable to hold and not painful like some of my other sabers. Also, I love how accessible the charging port is. I don't have to like unscrew the pommel, pull the chassis out, and then plug it in like some other sabers. Just plug and done. So not talking about the lightsaber part of things, let's get to these situations about the company. I've ordered from many lightsaber companies before, and this is by far the best one I've ordered from. Just hands down, shipping times. I ordered the saber Saturday, got it on Friday. That blew my mind. Now let's talk about the price of the saber. This Xeno Pixel was $160. My RGB was 130. For 30 more bucks, I can get so many more effects, um, brightness, loudness, just, just everything for 30 bucks more. That is, uh, that's just, it's, it's so good. It's, it's so good. $160, that it, it's, it's, it, it's so good. If Imperial Workshop's watching this and they wanna give me a code, I mean, I'm here guys, I mean, I'm, I'm here. But of course, this is my first video, so if you guys could help me like and subscribe, it tells YouTube that I make good content and gets my videos out to more people who love Star Wars. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you guys have the best day ever, and if you're thinking about buying a lightsaber, just go buy this one. If I could have gone back in time and saved myself the like $600 that I spent on my first sabers, I would have just went and bought this. This saber is, uh, it just blows everything else out of the water. I, I could go on for days, guys. I gotta go, bye.